Okay, so let's talk hypothyroidism. Now we just talked hyperthyroidism. So when we talk hypothyroidism, really with with these types of um, disease processes that are kind of opposite each other, you really just have to think of it exactly as that. That this is really going to be essentially the opposite of hyperthyroidism. Okay, so with hypothyroidism, we're dealing with a hyposecretion of thyroidism of <laughs> thyroid hormone, which results in a decreased metabolic state, okay? So we're, we're talking again, right here we have hypo, so think decreased, okay? So this can lead to what's called myxedema coma, okay? Where because we have a life-threatening state of decreased thyroid, horm thyroid production and thyroid hormone in the body, this can actually lead to a coma, um, and it can be a result of acute illness, um, rapid cessation of med medication or hypothermia okay so again we're dealing again with our thyroid hormone we have hypo secretion and so what that can lead to is that can lead to such a decrease in our metabolic state that can actually lead to even coma okay remember we're talking metabolic state so a really easy way to remember that is is uh myxedema coma the coma is going to happen with the hypo secretion right it's an ultra um, decrease in metabolic state. Okay, so how are we going to assess this? Well, again, think again the opposite kind of of of, of hyperthyroidism. Okay, we're going to have bradycardia, anemia, hypotension, constipation. Right, everything's slowing down. Lethargy, fatigue, weakness, muscle aches. Um, so with neuro, uh, neurologically, you just think this decreased state of awareness and alertness. We could have dry skin, loss of body hair. Uh, the patient's going to can gain weight. They're going to have anorexia, cold intolerance, edema, hypoglycemia. Okay, remember, just ultra decline in metabolic process. The way we assess it, you should remember this from nursing school, right? We're going to assess right here over the trachea, um, ask the patient to swallow, turn their head, and that's how we're going to kind of assess for the location and size of the thyroid gland. So I really just want to make sure that you kind of make that connection of thyroid gland is going to lead to kind of metabolic processes, okay? Um, with hypothyroidism, we're going to have a decrease in metabolic state, and that can lead to coma, right? Ultra decline in our, in our cognition, our metabolic state, and everything can lead to the coma. So how are we going to treat this? Well, first of all, we're going to provide cardiac monitoring again. Make sure the airway stays open, okay? Again, we talked about this a lot in the hyperthyroidism lecture, but we want to assess respiratory status, respiratory drive. One of the medications we can give for this is levothyroxine or uh, Synthroid. This is one of the most commonly prescribed medications in the U.S. Okay, it's one of the most high, highest grossing and most commonly pr prescribed medications. So. You're going to see this in the hospital. You're going to see this as you work with your patients. We're going to obviously assess uh, thyroid hormone levels. We can give IV fluids. We're going to monitor and administer glucose as needed. Remember, this can lead to hypoglycemia. And then we're going to monitor medication therapy. Overdose with thyroid medications is very possible. And if we overdose, right, this can lead to the opposite effect of hyperthyroidism, which would then result in the hypermetabolic state. Um, and kind of have the exact same thyrotoxicosis, okay? Um, the exact opposite effect, really, of the mycosidigma coma. So monitoring medication therapy is incredibly important in these patients. We want to just make sure that we're watching that closely. Um, so when you get the question about hypothyroidism, I want you to think hypometabolic state. I want you to think synthroid. I want you to think mycosidigma coma. And so you're going to be monitoring neurological status. Um, but again, this 